Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install OpenG apps on our newly installed Android 9.0 on our Raspberry Pi. Before starting the video, you can go ahead and visit the website. I have documented everything in this website. You can download the image directly from here. And you can also visit the Constra Kang official website. And if you like my work, you can go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And you can also follow us on patreon.com. So let's do it. To download OpenG apps, let's go ahead and open Google Chrome and open the official website for OpenG apps. Let's just search for it and you can see opengapps.org. Let's open the website and the processor that we are using is an ARM processor, Raspberry Pi. And we need to select a version that we need to install. So we are going to select Pico. That is the bare minimum to get Google Play functionality. You just need to click on download and it will download the image for you. So I have already downloaded the package required by the Raspberry Pi board. So let's get open it. Open the folder and it's in C downloads. And here is the package of around 90 MB, 97.4 MB. What we need to do is we need to copy this package to a flash drive to external storage device and then put it into the Raspberry Pi and go ahead and install it on the Android version 9.0. So let's move to the phone and then I'll show you how you can install the package on the Raspberry Pi. Now we are on the Android screen as you can see and I have a USB drive plugged into my Raspberry Pi as you can see SanDisk USB drive let's just click on it to show you what content it has and as you can see right here open G apps that is available in this drive right here let's just go back now to install G apps what we need to do is first of all we need to enable the root access of our system so for that what we need to do is we need to go into settings and from here what we need to do is go to about tablet as you can see raspberry pi 3 once it's open we need to go into build number and we need to just hit enter and you can see you have enabled development settings now let's just go back again and then go to system and from here we need to go into advance and the developer options are right here so once the developer option is open then we need to enable the root access for that we need to move down and it's disabled so we need to enable it and let's enable for apps and ADB click on OK now once the root access is enabled what we need to do is we need to enable the local terminal so let's just go down and you can see the option local terminal hit enter and this will enable the local terminal once we do that what we need to do is just to reboot the device Let's just press and hold the F5 key to enable the options to restart. Let's just restart. It will take a moment. Now we need to download one app that is terminal. So let's just go ahead and open it and look for terminal in Google. Terminal APK. Let's look for it and as you can see so we will go ahead and use the first link terminal emulator we need to enable the unknown sources from settings allow go back and then install it Thank you. 
once this installed let's just go ahead and open it now we are on the prompt from here we need to boot our device into recovery that is TWRP recovery for that let's access the super user and remember allow remember my choice and then allow now we need to type RPI 3 that is the board that we are using and we need to boot into recovery dot sh and hit enter once we do that you can see unmounting partitions done reboot device so to reboot the device we just need to type reboot and this command will reboot the device into TWRP recovery so let's just go ahead and hit enter so we are here in the T win recovery let's just swipe now we are here in the screen and from here we can easily install our G apps so for that let's just go ahead and click on install from here click on select storage and then we have the package in our USB OTG then ok we need to select and then we just need to swipe to confirm flash and it will start installing the OpenG apps to our Raspberry Pi it might take a moment and as you can see installing OG apps once it's done then what we need to do is we need to go out from the recovery for that what we need to do is we need to click here on the top once the installation is finished what we need to do we need to go into wipe and then we need to click on swipe to factory reset and then we need to go back and after that click here on the top left corner then you need to go into advance and from here we need to open terminal and then again type su and then you need to type rpi3 minus recovery dot sh space boot this will take us out from the twrp recovery let's just do that and it's not able to search the boot so what we need to do is just go back again from the top and click on mount from here we need to mount boot and system these two are required so you need to click here and then go into again advance and then terminal and do the same command and as you can see mount partitions restoring ram disk unmounting partition let's go ahead and reboot to install reboot and to install the G apps now it will take us out from the TWRP recovery now as we installed the G apps on our Raspberry Pi it brings us this screen so let's just go ahead and click on start if you want to connect to a Wi-Fi network this is the right time you can do that let's just go ahead and skip from here As this image is for Raspberry Pi 3 and P plus 3B and 3B plus so uh, the RAM is around 1 gigs that is why the system might run slow so I'm like looking for the new image for Raspberry Pi 4 and I'll create one more video for you with the whole tutorial the installation and the installation of G apps as well and as you can see the shield on the top left corner and you can see the play store is right here so we have the play store you can open it sign into it try to install some application use it and share your feedback in the comment section that's it from my end thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day